Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how SR and RS which is set reset and reset set works. Let's get started with the video. First of all, let's head over to the open PLC editor here. Now I already created a folder here and I named the folder as set reset. Let's create two variables here. One will be for input and another one for the output. I will call this as switch first and I will type the switch first as boolean then after I will edit the switch third as I will say that it is coil first and after as always we need to create two power rails one on the left side and another one on the right side Now we are done with the power rails here. I will get started with the contact first. I will add a contact here and I will use or add first the first one as switch first. Then after I will add a block here and I'm going to use RS first which will be reset set and I will modify its size let me make it a little bit bigger okay it should work now I joined the SW first which is switch first with the set and I will add a contact here which will be switch second and I will adjust its block size then after I will attach it with the reset here and and after I will create or add a coil on the right side which will be our coil first and I will adjust its block size and I join the pins here I will start with the simulation the simulation is complete I will drag this bit up therefore I will show you the coil and these two switches as you can see all of the switches are false so is the coil now in RS the reset dominates here now let's see how it works first of all when I modify the switch first and the coil first will go through with the switch first now the switch to which is false if I modify it to true you will see that the coil first is false now let's again see how it works first of all I will set the block here with the switch first and the coil or the output will go through as I set the block here now if I reset 
here on the block you will see that the coil or the output will go false now i'll stop the simulation here and we will add just double click on the block and you will straight go to the function box here and i will click on the sr which is reset sorry set reset and i will press ok now we already saw that how rs works and now we will see that how sr works i will start with the simulation here as you can see the simulation is complete i will click on the glasses here then after i will drag this a bit up you can see on the right side the coil and these two switches here now let's see how this sr works when i modify true with the switch here the coil will go through and when I modify the switch second with each reset the coil first is still true I will force these two switches here now in SR the set dominates in this block here you can see that the SR by stable is a latch where the set dominates. Now, when I force through to the switch first, and when I force false to the switch first, you will see that coil first is still true. Now, if I modify switch two to true, then again modify it to false. You will see that the coil got false. Now again, when I modify switch first to true and then modify it to false, you will see that coil is true. And when I modify the switch two to true and then false, you will see that the coil will go false. Now you already saw this concept previously on my videos. This is exactly how a push button works. When I force it true, means when I press it and then when I release it, the coil is true. Then after, when I press and release, the coil will go false. In the RS case, we had a switch which was a simple toggle switch. And in SR, we have a switch which is a push button here now in rs both of the switches were toggle switches and in sr both of the switches are push buttons now this ends our video here with the rs and sr which was reset set and set reset thank you for watching this video